in the previous video we learned about the nutrition type of nutrition and the process of photosynthesis its events and raw material now in this video we will study about the structure of the stomata structure of stomata stomata as you all know are the tiny pores which are present on the surface of leaves this is the main site by which the transport by which the exchange of gases take place वैसे तो मेनली जो गैसेस एक्सचेंज होते हैं वो स्टोमेटास के थ्रू होते हैं जो कि लीव्स पे प्रेजेंट रहते हैं उसके अलावा स्टेम्स रूट्स एंड बाकी जो पार्ट्स होते हैं थ्रू रूट्स आल्सो सम एक्सचेंज कैन बी टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम दीस पार्ट्स बट मैसिव ट्रांसपोर्टेशन मैसिव एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस टेक प्लेस बाय द स्टोमेटास नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टोमेटा स्टोमेटा जैसे कि आपने पहले भी पढ़ा होगा स्टोमेटास आर द पोलर स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच आर सराउंडेड बाय द गार्ड सेल्स दीस आर द गार्ड सेल्स Which are kidney bean shaped. Kidney bean shaped in which structure will be a two guard cells. Hai. These two guard cells struck cover a pore, which pore is known as stomatal pore. This pore is known as stomatal pore. These guard cells are covered by some epidermal cell also. We can do it as epidermal cell. Epidermal cells. Inside the guard cells, this structure that is formed these are the chloroplasts these chloroplasts are present in the guard cells which are also having the photosynthesis and this is the nucleus there is the nucleus this is also the nucleus another nucleus is another guard cells and this is the chloroplast this structure is complete this complete structure is the stomatal structure Stom structure of stomata which is formed from the guard cells and the stomatal pore these are the pore by which gases exchange and transportation of water takes place now let's see how these stomatas are open and closed when plants need to re release or need to uh, capture the carbon dioxide need to receive the carbon dioxide stomata pores get open and when they need to release it then stomatas when they do not require any water transportation do not require any carbon dioxide gas at that stage at that time the stomata spore get closed how these stomatas are get open and closed is due to the absorption of water when guard cells these cells these are the guard cells when guard cells guard cells absorb water when guard cells absorb water due to the absorption of water these guard cells get swelling up or they get swelled yani ki jab guard cells water ko absorb karte hain water ko absorb karne ki wajah se they swell up ho jate hain yani ki phool jate hain jab ye phool jayengi swell up ho jayengi aur structure mein maan lijiye this ye ek guard cell hai ye dusri guard cell hai in guard cells mein water absorb hua jiski wajah se ye phool gayi hai when these guard cells get swelled इनके बीच में जो पोल है जो गैप है ये फॉर्म हो जाता है एंड दैट कंडीशन इज नॉन एस ओपन स्टोमेटा उस कंडीशन में हम स्टोमेटास को बोल देते हैं कि स्टोमेटास आर नॉट ओपन कैसे होगा ओपन कि जब गार्ड सेल्स वाटर को अब्सॉर्ब करेंगे ड्यू टू द अब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ वाटर गार्ड सेल्स स्वेलन अप दिस गेट स्वेल्ड एंड देन ड्यू टू द स्वेलिंग स्वेलिंग ऑफ दीस गार्ड सेल्स द गैप इज फॉर्म इन बिटवीन दीस गार्ड सेल्स एंड दिस गार्ड that is stomatal pore so we can say the stomatas are open those condition mein hum kahenge stomata open when the guard cells not do not want to release water outside the stomatas at that condition the stomatas pore get closed how this uh, stomatal pore get closed when guard cells release water so guard cells water ko release karenge us phase mein guard cells jo hai wo shrink ho jayenge when they release water they get shrink and due to the shrinkage into the guard cells this close this pore like structure get closed means we can draw it like this also there there no gaps will remain here and that condition we can say that stomatal pores are closed so let's discuss one more time how the stomata get open and close कैसे स्टोमेटा ओपन होंगे और कैसे स्टोमेटा क्लोज होंगे जब गार्ड सेल्स वाटर को अब्सॉर्ब करेंगे ड्यू टू द अब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ वाटर स्टोमेटा स्पोर गेट ओपन एंड स्टोमेटास आर नोन एज ओपन स्टोमेटा एंड व्हेन गार्ड सेल्स रिलीज वाटर व्हेन दे रिलीज वाटर दे गेट श्रिंक ये श्रिंक हो जाती है और उस केस में बोलते हैं नाउ स्टोमेटा आर क्लोज नाउ आफ्टर दिस वी नीड टू से दैट वी आई टोल्ड यू दैट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ गार्ड सेल्स आर kidney bean shape this is the characteristic feature of dicot plant dicot plant as you, i already told you in your previous classes 
the dipole plants are the plants which contain two cotyledons. In these plants, the guide cells have kidney-shaped plants, kidney-shaped structure. But in the case of monocot plants, the guide cells are dumbbell-shaped. This is the point which you can take remember. In the case of monocot plant, the shape of the guide cells is not kidney shape, shaped it's like a dumbbell-shaped structure. Could be like this one. So you can keep remember it. This is the difference between monocot and dipot plants. Now, let's say after that, we're discussing about the structure of uh, process of photosynthesis. Now, let's see what is the site of photosynthesis. We discussed about the raw material, event, equation, structure of some task. But what is the site of photosynthesis? Where the photosynthesis takes place? Photosynthesis process takes place inside the leaves and in the leaves some special cells are present which are known as mesophyll cells. These mesophyll cells of the leaves are the main site of photosynthesis. Now we will discuss about the complete structure of leaf and mesophyll cells. Now let's discuss the site of photosynthesis. As you know, photosynthesis takes place inside the green leaves. Green leaves may photosynthesis on that, but leaves has a concept part that you know photosynthesis on that. Uske pare mein baat karenge. The site of photosynthesis is the mesophyll cells that is present inside the green leaves. This is the structure of dipot leaf. Dipot leaf means dipotic ligands, plants to hote hain. Unki jo leaf hai, jo uski structure hai. Isme dekhenge. What are important parts of them? In this dipole leaf, it has two layers structure. One layer that is present up to upward, that means that is a structure which is present in the upper side, this is known as upper epidermis. And the layer that is present below the next layer, that is the lower epidermis, upper epidermis and lower epidermis. These are the two epidermal layers which are present in the leaves. Above the upper epidermis, there is one one layer, waxy layer is present. Waxy layer means the layer which is made from the wax. So wax-like substance that is present outside the upper epidermis. It protects the leaf to, by the damage. It's a waxy layer that is known as cuticle. The name of this layer is the cuticle. In between these upper epidermis and lower epidermis, some cells are present. These are the parenchymatous tissues. These cells are made up of parenchymatous tissues and these cells are known as mesophyll cells. These mesophyll cells contain green color pigmentary structure that is the chloroplast. These are the mesophyll cells and these mesophyll cells, these are the mesophyll cells and these mesophyll cells are arranged into two spawns. These are the palisade or spongy. Mesophyll cell. This is the palisade mesophyll cells that form the pillar like structure, and these are the spongy mesophyll cells which are present in this manner. These are the mesophyll cells. These mesophyll cells are the two types of arrangement of palisade form or spongy form. In mesophyll cells, the under which is green color structure, you can see this is the chloroplast, and inside the chloroplast, chlorophyll is present. So, chlorophyll is the chloroplast that is under the present. And making chlorophyll photosynthesis key process may help her that. At the lower epidermis, like we can see, this is the lower epidermis. In the lower epidermis, the displaced, this gap is shown here. That gap or that opening is known as stomata. This is the location of the stomata. These are the stomata which are present in the, in the lower epidermis. In the case of dipot plants, we are discussing the structure of dipot leaf. So, in the case of dipot plants, stomata are more in number at lower epidermis but less in number at upper epidermis. Means, dipot plants ki agar leaf ki hum baat karte hain, maha pe jo stomata hote hain, ho sirf lower epidermis mein hi milte hain or most numbers mein milte hain. But at upper epidermis, they are very rare and very less in numbers. In the case of monocot leaf, stomata are equally distributed at both epidermis. Monocot leaves may stomata upper epidermis may be milenge or lower epidermis may be milenge. This is the main difference between monocot and dicot leaf. Now, take, take a one more, um, one quick revision. This is the structure of dicot leaf. It has two layers, upper epidermis and lower epidermis. In between these two epidermal layers, mesophyll cells are present which are formed from the parenchymatous tissues. These are arranged into two forms, palisade and spongy. Inside the mesophyll cells, green pigmented organelle 
is present that is chloroplast inside the chloroplast chlorophyll is present which take part in the process of photosynthesis by which the plant are able to form their food that's all about the autotrophic nutrition in the next video we will discuss about the heterotrophic nutrition thank you keep watching and keep keep studying